a real village atmosphere here. Yeah. The houses are lower. It's usually one story difference. <laughs> but they even have a small mall here. <laughs> right. Yeah. And the raised intersection in a 30 km per hour zone, so no signage whatsoever, just the traffic from the right has the right of way. Right. So no cluttered streets with as few signs as possible. Right. And now we enter a, a much more younger part of this village. This looks like late 60s, early 70s. It says here, yeah. And then we enter to an even more, more young part, 1980s. And that's where the separate cycling infrastructure starts. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. The Vesterpad. Yeah, the Western Path. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's so close. Yep. English and Dutch. The Western Path, the, the Vesterpad. Western path. And this reminds me of Houghton. Yes. So this part where they have the... The housing is on the cycleway, the front of the housing is on the cycleway, they park on their own back. Right. And they have the children's playgrounds on the cycle path, the schools on the cycle path. And that's how we did things in the 80s. Right, yeah. Yeah. We just follow on. Now that's the middle path, <laughs> mm -hmm. midden path. Yep. Yeah. Really nice to grow up as a child here. This right. is really for young families. Right. This is heaven. <laughs> no cars. And we turn now, so we get the wind in the back, in the yep. front, <laughs> in our faces. This is the furthest out we get. Yeah, so this also has a village atmosphere with a field and then the house is a bit further out around it. That's yeah. how villages used to be. Right. Same in the Netherlands as in the UK, for instance, where they have that too, that culture of building villages like that. And you can see that a car can reach every resident, every dwelling, but they're not in your face here. They're right. completely separate. And there's no through traffic here. Only people get here through a maze of streets when they really need to be. Right. Either residents themselves or their visitors. Clean cut hedge. <laughs> yeah, it's a bus gate. Well, sort of a bus gate. Right. Which wouldn't work in the US because you have these SUVs that are as big as a bus, <laughs> as high on their wheels as a bus. So. Right. But here they work. <laughs> yeah. And you notice no red asphalt because it's not really necessary here. Right. And because when this was built, it was a separate municipality, so they had different view, views perhaps of how to build cycling infrastructure. Right. Very pleasant. Yeah, is right through here. Yeah. You know, very peaceful. Even though you can smell the ditch. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it has a bit of a like a, a little over a, little a fall. <laughs> yeah. The standing water. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it was quiet until the siren. Exactly, yeah. We do have emergency services here too. Yeah. But at least you can hear them from very far away. Yeah. Much more a village-like atmosphere here than in Den Bosch. Although it is still the same municipality. Right. But they feel like a bit different here. Ah, I didn't really know where we were until now, I do. <laughs> this is exactly where I wanted to go. Excellent. Yeah. Again, a nice vehicle. Hand cycle. Yeah, I'm always confused when 
a society is coming up for the rights of handicapped people, yeah. people with a disability, yeah. when they are opposed to cycling infrastructure, because here you can see that it is also good for people with a disability. Right. All these vehicles adapted to their special needs can simply use the cycle path. Yeah. Yep. I think it's changing slowly. I know, people get, get it now. Yeah. Because they've Starting seen to. so many uh, examples. Yeah. So here we have like a <clears throat> flyover. Again, over a uh, turbo roundabout, because you don't want to mix a turbo roundabout and have level crossings. Oh, yikes. <laughs> that sound. Yes. We're very impressed. <laughs> that you can illegally modify your exhaust to sound. Yeah. Yeah. So impressive. Yeah. So we have here a T-junction on top of a, uh, yeah, sort of an overpass. Yeah. And if I show pictures, people think this is for cars. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's not. It's not. There's a whole area of the town down there with like 20,000 people, I think. Yeah. So to get them quickly to the city, they built this. Yeah. We won't go there, it's too far. <laughs> Let's go back to Certo Hobos proper. You can see the sign there. Yes. We left the city limits, but not the municipality. And we go from Rosmalen to Certo Hobos. Again, the new canal. We came on that bridge down there. Yeah. And this is the recreational path. Not really hard uh, surface, just a bit of yeah, dirt. Right. And on that side is the fast cycle track where you can really go fast from A to B. Yeah. And, and, practice, also, and practice your skating. And racing also, yes. cycling racing. I mean, you always see races there because yeah. it's so long and straight and smooth. Right. Really, really good for practicing. And the moment you are with cars, the noise is deafening, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we do have roads where all the cars come together. We try to keep them away from where people are. <laughs> right. Of course, there are people in the cars, but still, it's different. Oh, you mean those count? <laughs> I'm sometimes in a car. <laughs> Big revelation here. <laughs> I do have a driver's license. Ah, it's the same one. Still, I haven't seen much of the city. <laughs> This could be anywhere in the US. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for the cycling infrastructure. Yeah, but for the cycling infrastructure. For the rest, it doesn't look any different than any other country. Right. For us, this is a big road. For the US, this may be just normal. normal. <laughs> Uh, it's actually pretty big. It is pretty big, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But now listen, the, the noise barrier right. does a great job. Yeah. Because the noise is over right away. Yeah, the, it immediately notice the difference yes. with the noise. Yeah. Yes. He can almost breathe again. <laughs> almost breathe again. If not for that one. Yeah. if it's still recording that I'm riding. I guess not. Because <laughs> we stopped for so long and it switches off. No, it still knows of your cycling. Oh. This is a mishap. <laughs> See, the yeah. nice and fast through green, download the app. Right. It's on the sign. Hmm. Schwung. To operate the cycle lights, <laughs> to the, the traffic lights. So the, yeah, so the, it anticipates us arriving. Yep. And it's supposed to give us a green. Yeah. So. 
Doesn't always work, but it, often it does. It didn't work that time. <laughs> no, it didn't. Our speed is measured here. When there's no car, it measures us. So some, oh, that's way too fast. They can only go 50 here. Ah. <laughs> They're all going too fast. 57, there's none of them is keeping to the speed limit. Right. None. Sounds like we uh, need to change the design. That's true, yeah, it's not good design indeed. This is 60s, 70s design. Four lanes. That invites speeding. And we have, once again, our red... Red cycle track, yeah. Cycle track, asphalt. Bidirectional, just on this side of the road in this case, because it connects to that overpass. And we go around the service station there. Or for an American audience, a gas station. <laughs> the gas station. Gas station, yeah. <laughs> I usually, I, I do, because I have audience all over the world, I yeah. try to, to, to use the most neutral words, but I know that I use American words more often. <laughs> We're just exposed to American more often. Right. <laughs> But you don't have you have don't have any interaction with these cars, so that's good. Right. And you see that the main road. So you you see that the road is always kept. The, the main through roads are kept away from the true residential areas. Right. So we go wide around the residential area. It's refresh. It's sort of uh, reaffirming and refreshing to see that uh, that childish behavior with the roaring exists, motors, with yeah. the roaring motors that e exists, exists all in, over uh, the world. Yeah. All over the world. Yep. There's men like that everywhere. <laughs> small yeah, egos. What small egos? Boys will be boys. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Go right here. <laughs> Typical 1970s design, big roads in between the residential areas. Right. But at least they come with cycling infrastructure. Yeah. And they do help yeah. you to get quickly from A to B. Yeah. But let's, uh, Mark, let's, let's turn right here. Yeah. Let's do a U-turn. I want to go back and look at that sign. What sign? The motor scooter sign. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can go on this. Yeah. So this just, is officially we'll, one way. Yeah, yeah. We'll just uh, loop yeah. back around and we'll... Uh, the yeah. Snorfeeten sign. No, no, the scoot, the, um, the mo, um, what's it called in Dutch again? <laughs> Brommer. Yeah. Brommer. That means, <laughs> that is the sound mimicking. Yeah. Brum, 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 brum. That's a broomer. <laughs> broom, broom. <laughs> because it's uh, directing them to that little yes, uh, exactly. side path there. Yeah, so they have to go to, to the, the road. Yeah. yeah, so we'll we'll pause there and we'll talk about that. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, you see the yeah, the red sign with a moped on it. This is where the mopeds have to use the roads. Ah. And also on the street there was a sign for the motorists to expect mopeds to come to their road. And yeah. now this is for cycling only. So pedal bikes only. But with an exception, there's a slow type of moped who can go here because for the law there are mm -hmm. they are bicycles. So the yellow signs where people have to wear a helmet are now on the road. The blue signs, the blue license plates of the mopeds, they are still here. Got it. That's just how it is. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you for that diversion. That was good. I saw that sign. I'm like, oh, we need to do that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. The mopeds have to go to the road. This is now for the cycling fa the only. The fast moped. The fast type. Yeah. The yellow license plate, yeah. the helmet wearing. As he is. It looks like a motorcycle almost. Yeah. I went here because we have a few perfect roundabouts here. Perfect. Well, this is exactly according to the regulations. Yes. The latest design specifications. So we go around. 
perfect and we go left so we take half a circle and we should get priority here and we do just so smooth yeah we go right here much better than a signalized intersection isn't yes. it <laughs> Much better than a signalized intersection, isn't yes. it? <laughs> so much, much better, faster. yeah. Yeah. Much better than a signalized intersection. Yeah, and much faster for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Very comfortable. This used to be a four-lane road with later an on-street painted cycle lane. Now they took away one of the lanes for cars and turned it into a separate cycleway here. Yeah. You have to slow down the cars if they turn there. Look, yeah. Wow. You cannot do that at speed. Because that's a 30 km per hour zone. Ah, Canadian geese. So many of them. Some patches here, but oh well. We don't do potholes, we do then the whole thing. Yeah. And potholes are always more dangerous that will be repaired with asphalt here you can see that the cars really have a waiting space in between the cycle path and the main road so they can be wait out of the way of us they can do that in two stages a delivery bay here for trucks delivering here this is a shopping center and the shopping centers come with bike parking obviously and also car parking <laughs> you know hardly notice the bus stops but they're there yet another roundabout again almost by the book but two directions half of it so that's a bit strange we go left again And let's stay on this side. And we're going back to the city center again. It's always nice when you pass by older people than you are. Yes. <laughs> That's not an e-bike. And he must be 65 at least. <laughs> Again, the bus stop bypass that you barely notice. It's just how things are. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bi-directional cycle path on that way side, but there's a one way on this side. Yeah depending on where you need to be. You can choose whichever suits your needs best at the moment. Right. And it's funny, we go from the 80s, we're now in the 70s and 60s, we go back in time. These neighborhoods are getting older and older as we approach the city center. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the Canadian geese are everywhere. Yeah. Hey guys, you're lost. Yeah. Get back to Canada. <laughs> There's sort of a plague. Well, they're actually legal. Yeah. They're not legal in the Netherlands, so they could be confiscated by the oh, police. Oh, well. Because they're dangerous with the living little... on the wild side. Yeah. <laughs> Even here you have the uh, network for recreational cycling with the numbers, <laughs> even in the city. Yeah. Those are the rental scooters. 
<laughs> That's a rental scooter. They have a shared scooter system here. Ah. And they also have a shared uh, e-bike system from the same company. Okay. And the e-bikes are rented by the over 40s. And the, the, the scooters, the electric scooters, are rented by the youth. Yeah. So they don't know what's good for them yet. <laughs> the over 40s do. Blooming in November, that's special. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> it's November. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Student housing. Typical 70s residential area. Yeah. I think in Delft you have areas that resemble this a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is very typical 1970s, 80s type of neighborhood especially over by the university and that way yeah now we're getting back to the 50s from the, this was the border yeah See, this is not all 50s housing and there's no 40s housing for obvious reason right world war ii yep so we go from the 50s then later to the 30s. Yep, yep. And the funny thing is, we're back on the A59, uh, the F59 again. Oh, uh, we should stop here. Because this was the Netherlands' first roundabout with bi-directional cycling. Okay. So the city here ch tried whether you could cycle in two directions on a roundabout and whether it'd still be safe. Right. The verdict is not really out on it because the city now said we, should, uh, we shouldn't make any new ones because some scholars say that this is unsafe. Mm -hmm. But um, investigations do show that there are fewer accidents on two-way cycle paths around roundabouts than there are on one-way cycle paths. So hmm. there's something strange going on here. Right. We do know that roundabouts are better, safer than signalized intersections. Right. And there, you can see that traffic has never really stopped. So only sometimes they have to stop a little bit, but it is all going slowly and smoothly and yeah. Really interesting to stand here and to watch it. It's funny also, these cars let the bus pass, although the bus did not have the right of way. So even the drivers are bending the rules here a bit. Yeah. Because they go so slow, they become more human again. Right. They let you pass. Yeah. I read that over 30 kilometers per hour, you're not inclined to stop for another one anymore, mm -hmm. for anyone else. Yeah. Whether it be a pedestrian wanting to, to, uh, to cross the street or a cyclist coming. But if you're going less than 30 kilometers per hour, it's so easy to just brake and, and be human again. Yeah. So yeah, there's just something magical about a speed. human scaled yeah. roundabout that really encourages naturally through design yeah, the way uh, people behave. Non-lethal speeds. True. Which encourage, you know, being able to make the eye contact exactly. and be able to negotiate. Yeah. And, and it's just super, super intuitive and yeah. easily done. And and you end up getting, you know, situations like this where easily an 11, 12 year old, 13 year old, can cycle et cetera, will, can go out and, and, yeah. and ride by themselves. And yep. then, you know, mothers with children on their bike, you know, can handle it. And then the same, the same with, you know, people in mo mobility, scooters. Yeah. You know, they can easily be able to uh, navigate the space. Exactly. You know, quite intuitively and, and feel, you know, safe, safe in doing enough. so. Yeah. And, and you see the driver behavior respecting that. It just, yeah. it works so well without the expense, the added expense of signals. Exactly, because yeah. there are very few signals here. Yeah. There's 
signs all over. I right. mean, you can see it in yeah, the yeah, surface yeah. and you can... So it is really regulated heavily. Correct. But in a way that appeals to human behavior. Right. Yeah. More than... Yeah. I mean, there's no line of cars stopped for, for half a minute and right. then they drive off again when they get a green light. Yeah. That's a totally different situation in here. It also, it sets up a, the signalized intersection, those traffic lights set mm -hmm. up a different type of mentality of of expectation, of ownership, exactly. of exactly. I have my green yes. light and therefore now... I have the right know, of way yes. and yeah. get out of my way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And We're the exhibition of speed <laughs> and aggressiveness that goes with it. Yeah. yeah. A bear holding up a barrel and it's, it is a polar bear. Yes. You can't really see it from this side, but he tilts his head back and he holds a barrel up. And this was uh, guerrilla art. It was there one morning. It's made of old car tires uh, with concrete on top of it, I think. And the city liked it so much that they bought it. And it's now there permanently. <laughs> so, I love it. Guerrilla art and they bo gorilla, officially bought it from Yeah, yeah. guerrilla art made of tires, yeah. a polar bear. Against yes. car traffic and yeah. against using cars yeah. in the middle of a car roundabout. Yeah. Yeah. And the city likes it so much that they buy it. I love it. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. And they made sure that it is lasting now because it was not meant to be lasting. And I'm I'm, ass I'm assim assuming, you know, polar bear with car recycled car tires. Yeah, there's a, a message there. It's a message yes. about climate change. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. I'm surprised it is two-way. Um, yeah, so yeah, that is novel. And, and they also say, again, that is the roundabout sign, the blue with the, uh, with the white arrows. Yeah. And they say cyclists accept it underneath. So there's no real sign for it. Mm -hmm. So they just make up with the undersign. So it's sort of like cyclists do whatever you yeah, you can go in both ways because yeah. the arrows indicate otherwise. So yeah, yeah. you couldn't just leave it at that because then right. we would be illegal. Or maybe we're not part of the roundabout, but then we wouldn't have priority. Right. right. <laughs> so something's off here. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, that's the way they solve this problem in this town. I've not seen that anywhere else. Hmm. So it's, it's funny when you cycle all over the Netherlands, as I do now, most mm -hmm. people just cycle in their own municipality. Mm -hmm. But I cycle all over the Netherlands now and I pick up the, on these differences. Right. That other people... The, just, subtle, the subtle differences yeah. between each municipality. Like, oh, yeah. They have the cycle, sign, cycle street sign here or they don't. Right. Like in this city, we don't. Yeah. But uh, yeah. And for instance, in Utrecht, that is now illegal, a moped on the cycle track mm -hmm. in, si in the city center. Right. right. And you can see, even though the circle is very tight, buses can use it too. Right, right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Very interesting. And they're electric buses. Yeah. The sound difference. I mean, we were so used to buses before, like the diesel yeah. bus, yeah. having a certain sound. And if you now hear them, it's like, wow, such an overwhelming roar yeah, yeah. compared to the electric buses. Yeah. yeah. It's still noisy here, much noisier than in other parts of the town. Right. So yeah, it's like a non-stop slow car. Yeah. Car movement. Stick your hand out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're quite literal. We don't say indicate, let stick your hand out. Yeah. <laughs> Typical early 50s housing. Right. Yeah. So here we are in a service street that we saw before, but now we're on a main cycle route and we're the counterflow of a so that's apparently possible. <laughs> and there's the sign indicating that. Yeah, one-way street for cars the other way and we can go this way too that does mean that we have to give a bit of way to right. that car so we can't stay two together two next to each other i mean we are allowed to cycle side by side but if it's not possible then it's the polite thing to do the polite thing yeah. to do yeah to, to give a bit of way again <laughs> And the speeds are very friendly. I mean, they don't rush past us. They really know we're there and right. that it would be nice if they just 
I used the speed limit. That was not 30, they were going slower. Yeah. Now we do have big roads and they do also sometimes meet, so you have big intersections. And this is one of them. This is the latest all these trees with a circle around it were replanted here when this was redesigned mm -hmm. and you can see that the traffic light installation is solar powered ah. and it actually generates so much power that it is more than needed so the rest goes back to the grid and you have the very special near side signs uh, traffic lights for um, so we have near side traffic lights for pedestrians right normally all traffic lights in the Netherlands are near side you do so you don't get people crawling onto the intersection mm -hmm. but for pedestrians that was different pedestrians always had the signal on the other side of the street here they made them next to them where you cross mm -hmm. so people have to look besides them why is that because we only have four second green cycles here uh. and sometimes pedestrians would panic Mm. if they were only halfway right. and the light would already be red right but there is no problem there because the signal is a starting signal right but if you see a, as a red signal in the distance you, i i understand that you get confused yeah. so that is why they put them now on the near side you will have walked on and it will be red behind you but mm -hmm. you won't notice so right, you can right. just uh relaxed f uh, finish your uh, crossing and that's it right so that's a, also again a novelty in this town. Right. So they try things here. You, you can't really see it, but they have countdowns on the on the yellow light for cars. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, and then you can go. Sometimes when they're stood like right. this. Yeah. Oh, that's very British. Yeah. <laughs> stood like this. <laughs> you know, when the cars are, are, are stopped like that and they get a green light, the, it usually will count down from three, two, one. Again, that's not in the Dutch uh, regulations yet, mm -hmm. so it's kind of illegal. Right. But the Minister of Transport said that's an interesting thing to do, so let's see what that brings. Right. And um, the traffic light expert here explained to me that it clears the intersection seconds sooner. Right. And every second counts in an installation like this. Right. So he was happy with it. Yeah. But they don't do it when there are no cars standing because otherwise you would see it from the distance. Oh, I'm going to speed and make it. Yeah. So they only do it when cars are standing still. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, this is a main cycle route to the north and this mm -hmm. was the main cycle route to us to the east. So, yeah. Can I push the button? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can. <laughs> And you don't even have to push the button because it's not, there it's, are loops underneath it. Yeah, yeah. This is the modern version where you can't even see the loops because they're under the asphalt. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. See, this oh. is the near side signal for pedestrians. Yeah. And it will get red before he gets yep. the other. See, it's already red and he's it's not even red. halfway yet. No need to panic. Right. That's all accounted for. Just do not start again anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the signal timing issue is, is exceptional. really exceptional, yeah. Yeah. and it's it's something that you know doesn't really get appreciated in many no, other cities around the globe. It's demand driven, and it's just not north, east, south, and east, yeah. west. There's a different phasing for every direction. Whether right. you go right from that side, left from that side. Yeah. Here you can see that people going right and going left are going at the same time yeah. from different roads. Yeah. And then they go. Yeah. While they are still going. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's too complicated to explain almost. No, and, no, yeah, it's that's and good. you can also not film it and then think, oh, that's the cycle. No, every cycle is different yeah, depending yeah. on the traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Ontario Traffic Man who uh, explained that in a video not yeah. too long ago. Ordered it. Yeah, a year later. Yeah, yeah, but it's still live. It's it it's alive. Yeah, it uh, survived the transplant. Quite literal yeah. transplants so in this case. All of these these trees that you see here. Yeah, they weren't were here before recently. because the road was bigger. Right. And now the road is smaller, and you have more space for green. Yeah. Although it's still a 
huge road. Massive. Massive. Still. Yeah. Too much, actually. But temporary. Yeah. I feel like the black and white of the posts is really helpful. Like yeah, of course you really can see them in the you can see them in the dark and you can see them in bright sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you repeat uh, that? So the traffic lights, the poles, they have a mm -hmm. uh, a white and and, and black bands. Mm -hmm. So you can see them in dark. Uh, surrounding so mm -hmm. if it's dark you can see them because the white stands out and if it's bright sunlight the black stands out so right yeah so yeah. you see them always you see them always yeah because you have to stay away from the poles good good catch there Jordan yeah and what is also nice you don't have to go to the pole of the light to mm -hmm. push the button right the button is yeah. always on a separate pole ahead otherwise you would be with your front wheel you would already be on the road that is attention curb and now they made them yellow. That's the latest uh, improvement. Because, yeah, it's for the blind, but some people have vi vision, of course. So it's even for them better that they stand out. Yeah. Yeah. So we go right here. And I hope the special light works, but it doesn't always. Let's see. Because with bi-directional cycleways on either side, you can go around an intersection in two ways. And sometimes the left or the right will be... Now it is sooner to go around right. And now it is no, no difference. What does it say? Yeah, let's go that way. Ah, we're too late. Let's go there, that way. It's a bit hard to explain, but you can go either way, right? And that signal tells you which one is getting green first. Mm. So it takes you the shortest amount of time. Right. And there's only one, another one in Rotterdam, I believe. Huh, okay. So, yeah. We saw that motorway before. This was before the motorway was there. This was the main north-south road. Mm. That's why it's so big still. <laughs> but if you have a road, it will attract traffic, even here. So, yeah, and it works both ways. Take away the road and the traffic evaporates. Not something people want to acknowledge, but it's true. And it's a countdown again. Yep. <laughs> well, let's go that way. We've seen it now. Actually, I'm going to show you a different thing, yeah. This is a fortification, so that was uh, protecting the city, but it was also watching the city. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> so, when the Spaniards, were here, the Spaniards, they watched over the city from yeah. here. <laughs> We go left here, left over the here, yeah, into that street. But there's a car coming. Several. Thanks. Now we can go. The noise is gone straight away. Yeah. Residential area. Yes, Only it, people it, gets, it gets quiet very, very Every fast. Every <laughs> street like this, only residents go here. Yeah. When you see bricks, you know it's not a through street. Yeah. And you may end up in a maze. I always get lost abroad. Right. Because we don't have that. You, right. There you don't have that. So yeah. every street could be a through street or it could be a cul-de-sac. Right. Here you know exactly. When you're on yeah. bricks, you're not on through streets anymore. Right. Better turn back. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we are on a bike now. So for us, it's different. But with a car, don't enter such an area if you, if you do not have a business there. This was built as a school and now it's housing. 
Okay. In the 1930s, it was built as a university building, high school, we say, yeah. This street became much quieter now that car traffic is no longer allowed to enter the city on this side. Right. So, first it becomes a 30 km per hour zone. And uh, environmental zone. Again, the city moat. The city wall. And this is the street just for cycling and buses. And there are cameras detecting illegal car use here and they ah. just get the ticket in the mail. Okay. And it's so much nicer now. Ticket in it's the mail. It's just a hundred mail, a yeah. hundred meters. Yeah. But it makes all the difference. Yeah. Yeah, there's the speed camera. Yeah, it's not the speed camera here, it's just de yeah. detecting illegal use of the street. And because of this license plate, people just get the, the yeah. ticket in the mail. Yeah. A <laughs> hundred euros. Thank you and very much. Illegally entering. The, yeah. This road is now becoming is on, next on the list to be changed. Okay. This is so 60s. Right. Way too big. Yeah, yeah. They will turn it into an hour street. Right. This is the old canal that I was talking about. That we saw mm. the replacement canal that, that I said mm -hmm. the new one. Yeah. <laughs> it was right here. Ah. This bridge was open all the time for the big ships. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they see the countdown. So yeah. They know. <laughs> it's getting timing it. Yeah. Let's go that way. Uh, we go left here okay. with the flow. Hmm. Very 60s type of street entering the street. This will all go. Yeah. This so this all. is all going to be redone. Yeah, this is this is already redundant, but still there. Right. You can see now it becomes a normal street, normal in Dutch eyes. Right. We have some legacy infrastructure as well, of course. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's, um, our ways of doing things changed so recently, 30 years or so. So some of the streets are still not up for their first reiteration of their, the new version. And, because we change streets about every 30, 40 years. Right. And then they will be modern. That's why it's still so busy here. Entrance to a par car parking garage that was already there. Right. You wouldn't plan them now here anymore. Right. Because it attracts traffic, obviously. Yeah. And we're right in the city center here. Go straight on. Pedestrianized area there. Obviously completely dead because cars can't go there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And again, entrances, no way a car could use it if they wanted to. Sort of shared space like area. Mm -hmm. The cathedral, proud pride of the city. Some sort of outing mm -hmm. where they do wear high vis just to indicate who belongs to the group and who doesn't. Right. <laughs> Sorry. They're building a new city theater there. It's being built. This is the seat of the bishop. Really downtown now. We go right here. We go around the pedestrianized area because it's Saturday afternoon and the shopping moment, so it will be busy there. Although we are allowed to use the pedestrianized streets in this town, it's quicker and easier to go just around it. Right. There are already more people on the streets yeah. here than would be normal in right. many other countries. Because there's just not such a big difference 
Like you don't go in, as a pedestrian, you don't go in car space. We don't have that. Right. Because it's more fluid here. You're right. So people will step into the road and nobody will think twice about it. Right. Because there's just no room otherwise. And then just like that, with just one car doing something, you yeah. can clog up the whole area. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's why cars are so stupid <laughs> in the city center. Uh, so you, you heard it from Mark himself. Yeah. Cars that's are stupid cars in the city are center. So stupid in yeah. the city center. Yeah. Here we have a sort of a shared space, like yeah. it's a home zone, bone air. So we're guests now. So we behave like guests now. That was fun. Tandem with the doggy on it. Yeah, yeah, tandem with the doggy. <laughs> And we're back on that street that we started at. Yeah. With the counter follow lane. And that's the neighbor, I know him. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Enough cycling for today. 